over 50 NBA Decades packs. That's what we're doing in this video. We're opening them up. Because if you don't know, this weekend has been fire. Because basically, 2K have put these packs in the game. They can give you a new uniform, arena, but also an NBA 75 player in them. And there are some crazy NBA 75 players we want. For example, this Pink Diamond Magic's going for 800K. This is the one we want the most. So there's even like this Dennis Rodman, Shaq, and so many more that go for so much MT. Because people are trying to lock in these sets for like Chris Mullen and especially Cedric Maxwell. So that's why, yes, I decided to grind quite a bit and get over 50 of these packs. And the way I got them was just playing triple threat offline. I used this team right here and literally shot every three with Luca, and it was super quick. But you may see the vault prizes right here because 2K also added these cards into the vault and the vault did open quite a lot and I actually wrote down how many times we got certain things. So in about 50 games, we got Kobe Bryant twice. We got Hal Greer 11 times and then we got three tokens 11 times. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get Steph or Bill or Hakeem, but that's okay. I kind of forgot to say that you get these packs after every win in my team. So you can do it in any mode, but Triple Threat Offline is where you get them the quickest. So before we open up these packs, obviously this was a grind. So I'd very much appreciate if you guys go down below and smash that like button and be sure to let me know what you got from these packs as well. I've seen so many people get crazy things, so I'm excited to hear. But also before we get into them, yes, once again, we do have a sponsor for this video. So let's get to that. So yes, this video is brought to you by Top 11 2022. This is a free to play football manager game with over 240 million players worldwide. It's available on iOS, Android, Huawei, and web browsers. And in this game, you're the manager and you're in control of everything about your club. So that means you got to make all the tough decisions. Meaning you have to sign players, run trainings, run formations, to then lead your squad to victory. Now, one of the best things about Top 11 2022 is the new 3D live matches feature. This means you're able to see your tactics come to life with the amazing animations and player details, giving you the best info to give your team the win. Now, another thing that I love is the fact that there's something for everyone in this game. As for me, I love the fact that you can customize your stadium, your ground, collect jerseys and emblems, and so much more. So be sure to use my link in the description to download Top 11 2022, and let's see how good of a manager you can actually be. And once again, thank you to Top 11 for sponsoring this video. Anyway, now we're back, and I think first things first, we just gotta get into these packs. I'm really excited to open them up. Our first one up, I wanna see like a pink diamond. I really wanna see a good animation. So first one up, we don't get much. Okay, literally think about how crazy it would be if we were able to get like that, uh, what to do, Magic Johnson. Imagine just playing a game of Triple Threat offline and then getting a card worth 800,000 MT. Because you may notice I am on my no money spend account. So that makes it quite exciting to actually get some good pulls as we haven't got anything yet. To be exact, we do have 51 of these packs to open. So I will at the end show you guys how many things we got. So that means I'll show you how many players and how many of that tier we were able to get. So far, we've got none. And fun fact, I did actually open up one of these packs on my other account and I got an Amethyst straight away. So there's finally our first Amethyst player and it's Bob Cousy. Now that type of card right there really isn't gonna go for too much. We need to see the shaky animations. So yeah, we wanna see that. I don't think you can get Dark Matters, but we wanna see diamonds, pink diamonds, and that, and Galaxy Opals. It is quite good though with this event on this weekend, because if you didn't see, I did do 100 as we do get another Amethyst. Okay, it's Karl Malone. But yeah, I did do this exact same thing, except with over 100 packs for the Easter promo that they did when they put all of those in, as finally we do get another Amethyst, it's Karl Malone. And if you didn't see, that one didn't really go the best. And the reason for that is because we kept on getting those eggs and I couldn't do anything with them. Another Amethyst is Dave Bing. But at least with this one, there's nothing we have to put in the exchange. There's no time limit. We can just open them all up and hope to get some good plays. We're getting so many Amethysts. The good part about doing this too is I was able to do all the challenges for the agenda. So the lifetime agenda, finally, we don't get a player. As I was pretty much just doing two things at once. So that means finally when they release that player for the playoffs, you know, the round one, well, apparently it's gonna be eight cards, but it's in the lifetime agendas. And when they finally release that, I will be able to get whoever it is on this account. Hopefully they actually make the player insane. To be honest, I'm sort of thinking it might be Jason Tatum. That'll be crazy if it is another Amethyst here. So we're getting a bunch of Amethysts, but has this been exciting? Probably not. We're not really getting anything too crazy right now. And we've got 33 of them to go. So yeah, as I said, I'm so excited to hear what you guys were able to get from these packs because you can see right here, it looks quite hard to get something good. To be honest though, I'm definitely not complaining getting these Amethyst players because worst comes to worst, they quick sell for 800 MT and I might just hold on to them as I don't think their price is gonna go up too much, but right now their prices are definitely the cheapest they've ever been. It's so funny though, that I really badly wanna see that pink diamond animation the most because even David Robinson and so on goes for so much that I feel like the pink diamond glow is actually better than Galaxy Opal, but I need to see a shake at least. That's actually my goal for this whole pack 
pack opening is to get one shake. One shake and that's it 2K. So please do it for me. I know last time I did do 100 packs, but this time I, I didn't grind as much. We only did 50, still quite a bit. I was planning on doing 100, but once I reached the 50 mark, I was like, I know I'm just going to skip over them anyway. So let's just stick at 50 as we get those fire Grizzlies jerseys. The one thing I will say while we're opening up these packs, I absolutely love the new jerseys and arenas that they've added. They're actually really cool. Like I never really noticed how many new ones were added and how cool they were, but every single time I'm flipping them, I'm seeing them for a glimpse second and they're cool. It's interesting too that it looks like you can't get any badges from these packs. So really we're doing a big sample size because I want to see how many players and how many things we can actually get. Is anything going to be good though is the real question. I guess the next one up, let's make this one insane. And um, yep, that's definitely not insane. Also, while we're opening up these packs, I want to let you guys in on a little bit of a secret. I've got something so exciting coming up as we finally get another Amethyst is John Havlicek. But yeah, I've actually thought of a new series that I really want to start and trust me, it's going to be so exciting. So be on the lookout for that. I really don't know when I'm going to post the first episode, but I'm quite nervous because whenever you start posting a new series, it's a nerve, it's a nerve, nerve wracking, nerve wracking. Yeah, nerve wracking experience just because obviously the first episode is the one that gets everyone into it. So you're really hoping it pops off. But hey, I have faith in you all. So that's the goal for that a series that's going to start very soon. Hopefully this week, maybe let's try for that. It's obviously not going to overtake Giddy's legacy or anything like that. We still will be posting that as we do get another Ami in his car alone. So yes, exciting times ahead. Ne wow, two bronzes, okay. These packs were not worth grinding out for. I can tell you that we get another Amethyst. I don't care. All your boy wants is just that one, that one shake. We're getting quite a few Amethysts. I don't care. Finally, Kareem. I mean, let's just open up one of my Hal Greers just to, make, just to see the diamond. There we go. Bro, we've only got 13 left. I said to myself that if I was able to get like magic, wow. Okay, right as soon as we actually open up the Hal Greer, we instantly get a shake. Maybe that's what I have to do. Shooting guard, number 24. That means, um, who is this? 94 overall. Is this, I cannot remember at all. It's Sam Jones. Some of these cards are so forgotten. I had no idea that this was him. But finally, we got a diamond player out of it. I guess that's telling me maybe I should open up this pink diamond Kobe. Our second pink diamond Kobe, we should open it up. So then we get the pink diamond animation just like that. And that means the next pack we open up will be another pink diamond. That's just what I'm thinking. Maybe that's the way it's gonna work. But number 24 from the Lakers, obviously this card is actually a really good one too. And we're able to get two of him from the triple three offline vault so i'll definitely take it i'm gonna hold on to this card because hopefully his price goes up a little now does my myth work now that we've seen the pink diamond animation are we gonna get a pink diamond right here nope we got a gold i mean at least we did get that one shake that we wanted to see but it wasn't really very exciting we get another amethyst here nice to see okay it's paul pierce it's not loading though why is it doing okay there we go next one up no shake here cool got eight to go at least we are definitely racking up things for our collector level but i don't know that's me really looking at the positives there we're getting not much else we're seriously already in single digits i feel like i've flown through this and the reason for that is because we've only got one shake this whole time which is quite disappointing i didn't really expect to show all these because i thought this was going to go a lot slower than it did yeah i think we're into the final five maybe even less i don't know but shake for me Nope, nothing at all. We're on to the final three. We've only got two more after this and we have seen one diamond and that's it. We do get another Amethyst. Nice, it's Oscar Robertson. We're getting a bunch of those old Amethyst cards, but again, that's not what we wanted. That's not why I grinded this out. Next one up, a gold. And now we're on to our final NBA Decades pack. I mean, let's just open this one up and see if it's gonna be any good. So the final one, hit me with something good. <sighs> Wow. Okay. It's a cool jersey, but that's not fun. How did that just happen? I've seen so many people get insane things. We got nothing. I mean, it's a no money spend account and I'm guessing my collector level. No, we, yeah, we got that. Cool. Let's just get this basketball. Amazing. So yeah, I've added it all up and out of all of those packs, 51 to be exact, we got 15 players and it's quite easy to know what we got. We got 14 amethysts and one diamond. Do I think that was worth it? Probably not. But the whole thing I have to remember is that was absolutely free for me. I would get all those packs and usually we don't get those packs at all so even if i just quick sold everything we got it's still a w because i got it for doing just like triple threat offline it was so easy you could be playing any mode and still getting a lot of other things so i know it might not seem worth it just from the packs that i got but even just being able to have the chance to get like that magic d rob and so on actually makes it quite exciting and i still think it's a dub from 2k even though i had the worst luck but yeah at least we did it on no money spent and we got so many tokens and obviously quite a few players too so i've made quite a bit 
bit of MT from this. We didn't get anything crazy, but it was still lots of fun. And that's why I have to give this weekend a dub from 2K. And I want them to do this more. That's the number one thing. So yeah, be sure to let me know what you guys got in the comment section down below. I appreciate you all so much for watching this video. Be sure to smash that like button. Subscribe for new. Follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And that's pretty much it. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.